rises up from the jungle. This must be where the cultists of Zoria live. Dense fog swirls around the bottom. A swirling gate of a terrible howling emanates from the portal as something begins to force its way through. untouched by the forces of madness, the paintings and bookshelves. The keyhole of this door is wrought from gold. light up, but nothing else seems to happen. As the way before you opens, Darkness seals the passage behind you. There must be a way to free yourself from this place. of the essence. You hear a loud humming that quickly fades. The stop their onslaught, but something new has arisen. surge of incoherent panic batters in your mind. Uh, 
Icy tendrils of biting cold swirl around the stagnant sewer air. hear a prisoner's voice calling for help. Plorax runs off across the bridge and disappears in the pit. You hear someone timidly asking for help. <laughs> Vasimus stalks off into the shadows, disappearing down the tunnel the way you came.
hear a prisoner's voice calling out to you. Erinil runs down the tunnel, back to the ladder, and disappears from sight. Hear a woman's voice asking for help up above. Kaylan deftly climbs her way out of the sewer, pausing once to look back and wave her thanks.
of the tunnel shows you have reached the end of your journey. You have found the far end of the blood road. In the hollow to the north waits Bruku, elder of the Grey Moon tribe. The overgrown jungle does its best to obscure the caved in ancient ruins. of the hill where a ruined temple lies, the stench of trolls wafts from within. The tunnel to the north leads back down to the bottom of the hill. excavated and converted into an outpost of the Temple of the Six. Down the tunnel, the rough cavern walls give way to fitted stone. Cries of pain and grave, chanting voices break the silence. A bedraggled ogre stares at you from the cell to the north. He has been beaten and quitted. But his eyes have more grunts and pain of yelps to share the gloom, followed by cruel laughter. A few tiny blocks of something black and tarred cling to the floor near the wall. They get behind the wall to the west. You hear voices murmuring dark orisons to the shadow. Something with sharp, ragged claws has scratched the floor near the north wall here. The chanting is louder from the other side of the barrier to the south, but there doesn't seem to be any way through. Deep, grating voices rise faintly, seeming to come up out of nowhere. Slivers of gnawed bone make a trail that stops abruptly and the jailer drops a key which is You now have the key to the ogre's cells. The battered ogre shoves out of his cell and flees to safety. Now to help his fellows.
those slaves have all been freed. The cult of the Six no longer has any hold over Grey Moon. This mausoleum was recently excavated and converted into an outpost of the Temple of the Six. Battered and scarred ogre chieftain watches you from among the ruins. The air in the outpost has grown frigid. Rasping voice growls up from the shadows, but you cannot make out the words. The voice rising from the darkness grows clearer. You will not have the book. Turn back to the knees for us forever. Again, the voice calls from the gloom. If you come to the Fane, you are doomed. Go back and lose sorrow us to the faithful. You are persistent growls the disembodied voice. It will be your undoing. The Librum of the Six will not meet. The voice booms, crackling with hate as you pass through the once barred gate. From the midst of the fane, a ghostly form glares down. This is Talaris, one of the cult's ancient priests, as the final protector of the... The Librum of the Six is yours. This mausoleum was recently excavated and converted into an outpost of the Temple of the Six. A battered and scarred ogre chieftain watches you from among the ruins. The jungle struggles to claim this corridor that obscures the dark. A foul miasma shrouds these ruins. The temple of the six lies dormant no more. The way out is shut and will not open again. You must find another exit when your task is done. The air here seems choked with bleakness and evil as if you have found the main worship hall. Now you must destroy all the altars of... You have broken one of the altars of the Dark Six. But four remain hidden around the outer temple. They must all be smashed.
last altar crumbles to dust. A wave of rage buffets the temple and stills. The power of the Dark Six is lessened here. You have found the side exit of the temple. You can escape now. Miasma shrouds these ruins. The Temple of the Six lies dormant no more. The jungle struggles to claim this corridor that obscures the gargoyle ambush. Battered and scarred ogre chieftain watches you from among the ruins. Baited with the altar's destruction, has returned threefold. You feel as if you might drown in fury. These runes have some arcane significance, perhaps connecting them with the tiles will achieve some purpose. out on the wall. Perhaps something is behind it. Vendisto perishes, blood and bile and vile oaths spilling from his lips. You have found the way to the inner temple. But the way is shut and barred by impassable gates. You can go no further at this time.
foul miasma shrouds these ruins. The temple of the six lies dormant no more. The jungle struggles to claim this corridor that obscures the gargoyle ambush. Battered and scarred ogre chieftain watches you from among the ruins. Summoning braziers like a blaze returns to play. You must smash it to extinguish the fire. The first summoning fire is closing its gate to Fernia. But there is still much work to do. Swelter with unholy power. The ground rumbles. before it could overrun Sarodusk. A foul miasma shrouds these ruins. The Temple of the Six lies dormant no more. The jungle struggles to claim this corridor that obscures the gargoyle ambush. A battered and scarred ogre chieftain watches you from among the ruins.
A deep and sonorous thrumming sounds from the temple's deepest reaches. The bishop's ritual has begun. The door to the inner chapel stands open. You sense that the bishop is taunting you. <gasps> Bishop Zasha off, a foul mix of Zasha off and Zasha with his dying. like a forest fire. As a cool falls to you, returning to the fire of death, the cult of the six is thwarted at last. Miasma shrouds these ruins. The temple of the six lies dormant no more. The jungle struggles to claim this corridor that obscures the gargoyle ambush. Battered and scarred ogre chieftain watches you from among the ruins. The tomb opens up into a larger space. The underground structure is much bigger than the surface entrance would suggest. 
The holy symbols of the sovereign host adorned the walls around them. This place was once hallowed. Notice a note on the floor near a mangled body. There. A chill passes through you as skeletons rise behind the bars to the sides of the room. They don't look entirely solid. Hear the now familiar sound of bone clapping against stone on the head. You notice a rusty lever behind the grate to the side of the hallway.
You have recovered Jail's Journal, which describes the last moments in the church's investigation. A bright flame flares upwards as the first soul lock is open. is open. Two more locks and Delira will be released. You hear the whisper of a female voice as the fourth seal is open.
It doesn't appear as though anyone has entered this broken down temple in years. Spider webs and dust cover everything in sight. slides open to reveal a small chapel. A gilded scroll case rests atop the altar within. The door swings aside noisily, revealing a room of powers. However, opening the door and alerting something within to your presence. Nate's sarcophagus stands against the far wall. opens up to a room with a... As you approach the figure atop the wall, as the priestess's lifeless body crumbles to the floor, a sealed leather slips from her robes. A simple coffin rests in the center of the pool in the middle of the room. This appears to be the final resting place. The shallow pool reflects the runes of a ceiling that looks to stretch on forever. At the far end, you hear the now familiar sound of stone grating upon stone as another ceiling. The chamber's left wall opens, 
revealing more skeletal minions. chamber yawns open to reveal another chamber. These were not the true remains of the high priest. 